Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be going over how to download a, a Power BI template with uh, the VCAD custom uh, visual already preloaded within the template. Here we can see we had previously loaded an IFC file, and we can check it out and make sure that everything has been uh, extracted correctly. By going back here and pressing on this icon, we will be able to select the template we desire and download it. Now here we see we have uh, uh, one template set up. We will be uh, developing and rolling out uh, further templates in the future. And we are also uh, preparing to the possibility to download custom templates prepared specifically for each client. Now, what we will be downloading is a normal template uh, from Power BI with the only exception being that it has the VCAD custom visualizer preloaded within it and a set of uh, data extracted from the IFC file we had selected at the beginning. But being a completely normal template, you will be able to modify and uh, add external data sources as you wish and treat it like you would any normal uh, Power BI template. Now we can see when we open it the first time, it loads up everything. <clears throat> Here we have a list of assets and attributes uh, for those specific assets. They are already linked. So by clicking on the uh, data, we can see the elements are selected within the custom visual and the relative attributes are loaded for each asset. As we go by, we can see the selection moves We can also do the inverse by clicking here and then selecting an item. We can see the list of assets is uh, filtered to the asset we have selected and the attribute list as well as selected for the asset we have found. So this can be a, your starting point. Uh, we have here the tables with the data we have extracted from the IFC file. Right now, assets and attributes. And starting from here, you can go on to build your uh, reports like you would normally. So now we have to uh, save the file, uh, effectively transforming the uh, Power BI template in a Power BI report. We give it a name and now it's all done. We can go ahead and publish it like we would normally. Select the workspace. And once the report has been published, it can be shared with whoever you like. There we go. And now we can see it's loaded in uh, Power BI Web in our workspace. And we are ready to go. This is a simple way to uh, have a pre-made report with uh, VCAD already installed in it and the uh, file prepared. As we said, for now we have one template and we will be developing more and setting everything up to have your custom templates ready. Thank you.